What is up guys, this is Praises here today. I'm going to be bringing you guys a quick tutorial on how to properly um, get images off of a white background or how to like make like your advertisement products like let's say that they're in like a JPEG or something like this and uh, you want to make it just a PNG so like with something with just like a transparent, it's kind of like a sticker. So um, I see this messed up very often, not sure why but I'll show you guys quick ways on how to do it. So let's get started. So what you're going to want to do is go over to the magic wand tool. This is a really cool tool. It's uh, really quick. As long as you have like a white background, this will work beautifully. Um, if not, you can just bring down the tolerance and it can fix it for you. But you can also go down to the eraser tool. And what you can do here is you can go down to the back background eraser tool and this will get rid of the certain cards they don't want but this is mainly going to focus on the magic wand and how to get this off of the background so you're going to want to select the background like this and you're also going to want to select the other little part right here this is what I see a lot of people doing and just deleting and they call it a day but as you can see through this I will show you right now it does not do it very accurately as you can see there is still that little white line around the image which is something you do not want a quick fix for this would be once you selected it you can go over right click on the box with the icon uh, select pixels and now that that is selected what you want to do is go to select modify contract and go to one and then so now that is selected now go back up to select and then inverse now delete so now you will not have that effect of the sharpness of that white light line. So that's nice to do. Um, that's uh, like the best way to get an image raw and just uh, have like a, the PNG format. So uh, that's a really quick way to do it. But if you have other things to do, you can also pen tool. So another way that you can do this, um, and let's say like you don't like the sharpness of like the edges and you want it to blend more instead of being such a sharp thing. So let's say that you're cutting something out of like a photography piece or something that has like a slight blur to it. What you can do is select these pixels, uh, go to the selection tool, and then feather. And you can feather this, I would say like two maybe. Something like that. Um, select inverse and then you can bring down the sharpness. So it's a little bit blurred and it's a little bit more realistic I should say. but. This way it will kind of blend in more with the background as it has more of like a purplish tint to it. So I recently moved into my new apartment that I am now living in which is in Anchorage, Alaska. And so I'm trying to like maximize my time by going out and hiking and all that stuff. So with that said that's probably what I'm going to go do. So I hope you guys have a great evening or morning or whatever time of day it is. And check out my social media if you guys want to see where I'm at and like what I'm doing so feel free to go follow that so have a nice day like the video if you enjoyed and blah blah blah